Hey Foundry Church, my name is Allison Elders and I'm the prayer coordinator. I am so excited about our new Wait series. Over the next nine weeks, many days are designated specifically for prayer using our Wait prayer guide. This is different than the Wait study guide, so I wanted to walk you through it before you get started. Using our acronym WAIT, W stands for worship. This is our opportunity to declare who God is and to worship Him for it. He is the creator of the universe. He is our savior. He is good. He is faithful. He is trustworthy. So many things that we can praise God for. A stands for ask. We all have things in our life that we need to ask God about. Maybe it's just day-to-day -day stress. Maybe it's broken relationships or finances, or we need wisdom in certain areas. God knows about these things already. We're not saying anything that he doesn't know, but because he desires a personal and an intimate relationship with you, he wants you to talk to him about them. Ask for wisdom and guidance. I stands for invite. Invite the Holy Spirit to speak, to soften your heart to where he may be leading. If you're like me, it is difficult to just listen, to put off all other distractions, just to listen. So each prayer page was designed and created specifically with a design around it that you could use to color or to draw, anything that will clear your mind so that you can focus on listening. Then, if the Holy Spirit does bring something to mind, maybe it's a picture or a person or a specific scripture, write that down. I'm amazed at when I look back at my own prayer journal, the things that I thought were random thoughts were actually seeds that God was planting that are now taking root. And I hope and pray that when we look back at this experience, we'll be in awe at how God was working and speaking to us during this time. So no matter how random, go ahead and write those things down. T stands for trust. How did God speak to you during this time of prayer? Did he convict you of a sin in your life? Trust him and repent of it. Maybe he brought someone or something to mind. Trust him and pray for that someone, maybe even reach out to them. Maybe during this time he cautioned you about something. Trust him and wait on his timing. There are gonna be some days where maybe you didn't hear anything specific. That's okay. Trust in God's character and know that he heard you and he loves you and his timing is perfect. I am so excited to get started. So join me on week one, day two, as we wait on the Lord in prayer.